Hi y'all, um, today I'm going to go through my rebuilding of my um, bag out bag. Um, for the last seven or eight months I have been rebuilding it, pure reason a lot of the stuff um, I had to leave at my last house. If you, if you don't know what happened, um, there's a couple of videos prior to this explains why. So I've had to rebuild it. So. Um, I thought I'd go through the bag with you and why I've got it and the importance and importance of bug out bag. Now a bug out bag uh, can be any size um, you want as long as it can carry the items that you need. Um, I use my bug out bag everywhere I go. Um, if, for instance if I'm going camping, if I'm doing bushcraft, walking, I carry it with me. Pure reason I get to experience and I get to know what in my bag is working and what is not so I can put more stuff in or take stuff out. So that's a good good advice I can give is that make sure when you do build a bag that you know how to use every single item efficiently. Um, again like I said it can be any size. I originally started off with a big old bag. Um, if I can lift it up. Um, which is an army one. Again, this one um, cost me uh, 10 quid on eBay. Um, this one here cost me 10 quid on eBay. So if you can't afford an expensive bag, uh, it doesn't matter. I would go for uh, military surplus or anything like that if you cannot afford um, an expensive bag. They tend to last for a pretty long time. Um, I've had this one six seven years and it hasn't failed me yet um, I still carry it around I still got it with me um, <clears throat> now I carry this is my bag of back now it's a, a one tigress uh, bushcraft bag um, top of my head I think it's 35 or 40 litres um, I'm not too sure if I have made a mistake I will put the link um, below um, but yeah, it's the one type of Tigris bag that's cost me £35. Very, very good bag. I can't afford it at that so that whatsoever. You know, one Tigris did a really good job in making them. Um, what have I put in my items? When I originally started building uh, bag out bags many, many years ago, I used to carry a big, big bag, bigger than the one I just showed you at the first, with everything apart from the kitchen sink. But as your skills and your knowledge starts to develop, you'll find you need less and less. Um, so I haven't got much. Um, there's still a few things I need to put in there um, because I am building it still and everything obviously costs money. Um, so I'm gonna go sh through some of the items that, that I carry now and explain why I have them. So I'm gonna, I've taken everything out of the bag now so you can see what I have. So I'm going to pan the camera down once uh, again, just to show you um, what I've got in there. I decided not to pan the uh, camera down. It's more easy just to, to come to the camera and you can see my face as well while I'm talking. Um, for the ones that don't know what um, a bug out bag is, it's a, a bag that if a disaster was to happen in any situation um, and you have no other choice but to leave um, safety, i.e. your house or anywhere um, you live um, and you have to evacuate um, to go somewhere to your bug out location or anything like that. Um, so it's a means of having the equipment there necessary to survive. Um, bug out bags are very very similar to be honest to bushcraft bags or anything you would carry, carry camping and things like that, hence why I carry it with me. There are certain items I won't carry with me um, when I am camping and bush, uh, bushcraft and things like that, I do take them out um, because obviously people would ask questions. So I will show you one or two of those items as well, uh, what I carry. Um, so yes, what I'm gonna go through. I'm gonna go through the knives first um, <clears throat> and the saws and things like that. Um, so yes, so let's begin. Um, Right, again, 
go for a knife. I carry, I carry a Mora knife. And I do carry a Condor, but I'll show you that as well. I carry a Mora knife. Mora knife is a very, very, I'm be careful, because the last time I did this on camera, I hear you cut this off. So a Mora knife, um, you can pick these up for about between 10 and 12 pound. Um, very, very cheap, but for the price that you pay, they are really, really, really sharp and they last a very, very long time. In terms of a budget knife, if you've only got a few quid to spend, uh, more a knife, definitely, definitely, I would recommend. If you've got a little bit more in, I do carry these in my bag. Um, I would go for the Condor. Again, this is a traditional bushcraft knife. Um, Condor Bush Law. Um, this knife is ooh, 40 to 50 pound. Again, it's a budget knife. I think they class expensive knives when they're here about 80 pound plus. Um, but again, very, very sharp and it will do the job. Um, I use this this knife for battening and splitting wood. Um, so yeah, I carry that with me. Um, for the Mora, I tend to use it for uh, doing craft work and things like that. This uh, small task. <clears throat> Next knife I've got in the bag. Um, my recently uh, Christmas present and um, added addition is a uh, made. It's made in the USA. It's a Tops Mini Scandi knife 2.5, if I remember rightly. If I take it out on the sheath to show you, it's a very, very, very tiny knife but really really sharp uh, it's perfect for little tasks around the, the campsite or uh, wherever you are it's beautiful beautifully made and um, this cost me this well the cost the person that bought it I should say I found out it's about 80 quid um, it comes with end of the 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 neck sheath it comes with a whistle um, I wanted a neck knife um, to carry with me to do small tasks, so it's perfect for it. So yeah, so that's that's my neck knife. <coughs> um, going on to my saw. The saw that I have is a the Grizz saw. It's a very very tiny saw, uh, 12 inches probably 12, 12 to 15 hinges. I've only had to use it. Only used this once so far. So I can't really rate, um, review it or rate it as of yet because I haven't used it as much. Uh, but the reviews I've read, um, it's a very, very good blade, uh, saw blade. It comes in uh, a sheath like this. And so far, it's not a bad nut blade. Again, I think this was 30 pound, not too sure. I'll be honest. I've had this going on to my axe. I've had this axe for well, ever since I've been making my my uh, bug out bags. Really, um, it's a fiscus um, axe. I use this for carving and doing little tiny tasks uh, around the campsite. Uh, a little tiny one, um, and then I'll show you my bigger one in as well. Just give me a minute. To put this back. Safety's first. Right, right, that'd be right behind me, didn't it? Right, my main axe or my my chopping axe. Uh, forgive me pronunciations because I'm not good. It's a whole take fours uh, axe. This is a medium size axe. Uh, medium size axe. It goes from your hand to your to your um, to to towards your bicep, I suppose. Um, so the, I use this for chopping wood uh, and things like that but it's small enough to if I wanted to do to carve and things like that very very for the price it cost me 33 pound and um, very very good axe um, I, I do recommend these um, I want to get a grand fours um, but they are a lot more expensive um, this you could say this is the cheaper version but it does the same thing, 
the really sharp and for a budget axe very very good I'm gonna try and keep this under to 25 minutes hence why I'm gonna try and go a little bit faster than normal again many have seen you this before I have a mini multi-tool um, I want to add a Leverman um, to my uh, bag out kit um, this is a Gerber Gerber mini tool um, very very it does it does okay uh, but I want something bigger to to get me by to get me through <coughs> next thing I'm gonna go into what I cook with um, okay out of the thing first um, this is probably probably I think this cost me 60 quid um, on the bushcraft store if I remember rightly if I'm wrong um, again I'll put a link below where I got it from um, but I bought this last year um, this for a pure reason ah, bush, bushcraftessentials.com there we go it's, it's imprinted on the thing um, come on you get out you come um, it's a I, I call it a flat pack stove wood stove um, I've put this together in a video so you can see how it goes together and things like that uh, it's made of stainless steel um, they do do one with titanium it was a little bit more um, and so I do a video on this because because there, there is a lot um, to it and I'll show you how to make it and pull it together um, but that's my cooking set um, I have got means to make a fire so if I want something bigger I can do it's not a problem <coughs> make sure I get everything in order so I'm not showing it twice my fire kit I've got it in two spaces um, <coughs> so I'll take it out now I've got in here in my little tub um, things have changed I've got some armadou kapok some char cloth uh, cotton wool uh, a lighter that is in that top and then in the other tub, got my clean it afterwards. In here, where my cooking pots are, these cooking pots actually, why I'm here, are one tigress that um, comes in. Get it out of that stuff. Comes in two pots there, and then you've got one small pot, and then another small pot. I use that for tea and coffee and things like that, but I'll show you what I've got in there. <coughs> Two bits of pine sticks, I suppose you can call it. Uh, my fire steel, uh, Wessex blades, uh, fire steel, um, and then I've got an ordinary, sorry, ferro rod and fire still my apologies so yeah Wessex blades ferro rod it's been a long day it hasn't even started yet um, next thing I've got I do carry another one another ferro rod um, got some cotton wool some pine shavings and my waterproof lighter or windproof I should say uh, and some magnesium so that's my fire kit uh, because I carry this with me um, or a lot where I go um, I've got some um, in here there is a towel uh, some cotton towel so uh, next available time I get out I'm going to do uh, some char cloth uh, right, next thing I've got is binoculars small pair of binoculars I think I bought these for two or three quid 
off an event I was there very very cheap um, and there are 10 by 21 so 10 by 2 sorry so yeah so it's very very cheap binoculars I need to add to this I need to get a bigger pair probably one day um, on top of that um, where is it I always put things down to show you um, next thing I've got onto that I've got two compasses uh, so I'll show you um, one being this compass uh, six quid I think they cost got another compass this one's supposed to be a 10 in 1 so I've got the thermometer and hydro on the front got a compass yeah compass I've got a magnifying glass which is there uh, I think this is like a signaling mirror um, it and inside here so there's another small type of ferro rod um, the only thing I can fault with that is the ferro rod tends to get lodged in or go quite far down so I don't use it for that situation that purpose as well as my first aid kit uh, I have a tourniquet or a cat tourniquet um, so I carry one of these everywhere I go um, again because I use this for bushcraft walking and hiking I carry a, a Mora spoon carving knife now where I got this from I wish they had they protected it well in the packaging because I ended up putting my hand in the the box and like you do when you're excited um, you went to go to grab it and it's not protect and it wasn't protected it wasn't safe so I ended up cutting myself the first day I got this um, so it wasn't good so it proved it was sharp but I wish they packaged it a bit more <coughs> fire piston so I'll quickly show you this I got this off of uh, Josh Johnston he's a youtuber uh, many of you know him as well very well um, I got this off of him a while back um, he had to sell it so a fire piston um, I've used it three or four times and takes some getting used to and a lot of practice but very very good fire starter we're nearly finished guys I have a solar charger a small solar port um, four quid on eBay lasted me so far for three or four years remember don't buy expensive stuff you can buy it on the market for cheap and you know buy it as long as it comes from a reputable place I carry three books with me book on trees food for free and every bag should have one SAS survival guide I think every every bushcrafter or prepper especially in the UK I don't know about America but especially in the UK SAS survival guide I think everybody's nearly got one right. carry a head torch with me this is a Nightcore head torch uh, I chose this one specifically because it can come off so as well as a head torch so let's quickly put it as a head torch okay this strap comes off like so it comes off uh, so you can clip it on your clothing clip it on your clothing or your, if you're wearing or anything like that and so you've got a, another means to, to for a torch it's only one LED but it's, it's pretty bright bright enough for me anyway I, I carry a pacer with me so I know where how far I'm walking um, a map um, ordnance survey map of my area uh, I need to update this because I've moved a little bit at, not out of my area but further uh, west of my area so I want to expand the, the map a little bit more my journal 
Um, I just write notes in there, any plants that I want to draw, things like that. Um, Army issue water bottle, um, so I carry that with me at all times. Um, I carry two lots of rope, one 550 paracord, and this is 20 feet of normal normal rope I carry with me. Not climbing rope, it's just normal rope. Sleeping system. Everybody's seen this on a video that I did a while ago. Uh, a tarp, DD hammocks tarp. Coincidentally, I have got the hammock now, so that's pretty good. Uh, the four by four, sorry, 4.5 meter by three meter ha uh, tarp I've got. And my sleeping bag, I think right behind me, is a Mountain Warehouse Summit 250. I tend to get really hot at night, so this is this is more and more uh, big enough for me. It's season two to three, so that's plenty. It'll last me throughout the whole um, where I am anyway, throughout, even all the way through the year. So as it goes up to comfortable temperatures, extreme temperatures is minus five. So on top of this, if I'm having a blanket with me in the car or anything like that, that's plenty. I don't need any more, really, to be honest, because um, I tend to get really, really hot. I need for got an item. I got this for Christmas, so again, very, very lucky man. Um, it's a Gerber mini shovel, um, so I got that as well. So that I need to add it to the, the the bag. What I'm missing? Oh, okay, obviously I have got food. Uh, so before anybody asks. I haven't put the food in the ba in the bag yet, so uh, I've got enough for I'm gonna put enough for three days in there. I do need a water filter in there. I've seen one online already that I'm gonna be due to get, um, so that's one thing that's got to go in there. I need to improve or get another torch rather than the head torch. That's gonna stay in the bag, but I need another torch. Um, and I think I've written it all down. I think that's about it, really. It's just the filter, the main filter. I have got Puri tablets, but I still need, I still want a filter. Uh, I have been looking at the Mini Sawyer, but there's another one that I want as well. Um, so I'm just sort of, I'm an R in which one to get. So, um, that, I think, make sure I don't blow on my back. That I haven't showed you. No. So, that is what I carry on a daily basis. This, that is what, I will go on to camps and things like that. There is one thing that I I don't carry with me. If there's an event where it involves me bugging out and uh, there is uh, no there's rule of uh, no rule of law uh, and you're on your own and you have to hunt for yourself, I will be carrying. Uh, pellets and I will begin to carry my hunting rifle as well uh, my air rifle before anybody asks and my walking stick which I, uh, but I will be carrying them with me if a disaster is a strike and there's no no law in this country uh, and it's you're on your own basically so I will be carrying that with me if a disaster was to strike they're the only things that I would carry um, uh, but everything else I carry on a daily basis. If you have any questions on how to build a bug out bag, I've, I've made quite a few of my time. Um, at the moment I'm still rebuilding mine and I'm also rebuilding my family's as well. Um, if you have any questions on how to build one, please send me uh, a question. If you have any questions on what I think I should be putting in, Please, any help would be greatly appreciated. I have been doing it for a while now, but it's always good to have extra feedback and things like that. So, until uh, we speak again, hope you have a fantastic week. Um, until then, see you later.